Oh, that's wow. wonderful. Wow. We had to write that down. My, first, to, yeah. my first question is, how on earth do you do all that? Now, for many of us mere mortals, <laughs> yes. any one of those things is a full-time activity, yeah. but somehow you manage to balance all of them. How do you do it? Well, I suppose the honest truth is twofold. Okay. That when you get to my, uh, my old age, so I, I'm heading towards 70, okay. and I'm no longer in any full-time paid work. Okay. So when you get to this kind of position, you're given lots of opportunities that you can express your interests mm. by patronages, chairmanships, okay. engagements, some voluntary, okay. some paid, okay. and none of them takes a full-time life, with the exception of being a member of the House of Lords, which mm. technically of course. is a full-time yes. commitment. But of course, the House of Lords doesn't sit seven days a week. Right. We sit mm. four days a week, yeah. sometimes five. We don't sit during the recess periods. And as a non-political member, I don't have to attend political sessions if I don't wish to. Okay. Oh. So there's a balancing that takes place yeah. of being essentially a retired yeah. older gentleman. Yeah. So I can take up lots of responsibilities. Yeah. But the other thing, and this is a really important principle I learned in my teenage years, which yeah. is if every moment of the day matters yeah. as a credit as an opportunity for God's mercy to be exercised, yeah. for opportunity to be fulfilled, then I better mm. get up early enough, mm. like Brilliant. the five o'clock boundary. Yeah. So most people don't hit value activity until eight. Yeah. So if I'm up at five, I've got three hours ahead of them. Yeah. And then you add that up across six days a week. I've got an extra day. So I've got eight days in the week. And that means I fluid that. flexibility <laughs> allows you to do an awful lot more. Yes. I think they call that a productivity hack. You got yeah. it. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Get productivity gain. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. And I'm just being, I'm being serious about that because mm. it means there's a lot of things uh, first thing in the morning besides my personal commitment mm -hmm. to my faith and to spending time mm. understanding and reading scripture. I also I read the newspapers. So I read okay. the Times, mm -hmm. I read the Financial Times, I read the BBC website, I read the Sky News website, the Guardian website. And I follow a lot of stuff on LinkedIn so that okay. I've really got a good sense of what's happening in the world with whom and why by the time I'm moving out to encounter anybody.